Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be unboxing the Wing Gundam Zero and its Waltz fur car. This is quite an interesting release in terms of the fur car line because this kit and the old Wayne Gundam Ennis Waltz are the only ones in the fur car line that is not from the UC timeline. And the Wing Gundam Zero EW hasn't been updated since 2004 I believe. Unlike the other wing suits that got released in the early 2010s, I remember building the old version of the kit, like it was fine back then but it didn't do a whole lot of things like the hands don't hold the Buster Rifles very well and also it didn't transform, which I'm glad to see that both issues have been fixed in this new version and it also comes with a shield. But yeah, inside the box, there isn't anything that is too exciting. But it's pretty nice to see that they've included an action base for the kit to support the back weight and also to display the Neo Bird mode. Also something I've noticed is that Bandai seems to have gotten rid of the soft PC runner for articulations and whatnot. Now I haven't actually built many new kits so maybe that's not a new thing. But it's certainly a nice thing to have because it's a pain to paint those parts. And that's it for the unboxing so let's get to building. And here is the kit assembled. Overall this is a very nice build. Nothing too complicated and generally is a solid kit. And I'm really impressed by the engineering that Bandai has put out recently. However I found that there are a few pieces that are kind of loose when attached. First off when in Neo Bird mode the shield doesn't really attach to the head very sturdily. And it tends to sort of lean downwards. And then also the front end of the bust arrivals and the shield. They are quite loosely attached together. Also it would have been nice if the base support for the Neo Bird mode actually has some attachments to the to the kit. Because right now the kit is only loosely sitting on top of the stand. So it can be only displayed in horizontal mode and not in any angled mode. So that's kind of a shame. But yeah, as the title suggests, I'm turning this kit into Wing Gundam Snow White Prelude. That's a really small third party company that makes the expansion pack. I think this kit is a direct cast of the metal built version and some of the parts are just too loose and some of the parts too tight. That's basically nothing that fits perfectly. And this is not helped by the totally useless manual. I mean look at this, it tells you to combine C2 and C2 together. And actually there are 4 parts in there, so you're combining 4 C2s into one part. And it doesn't tell you that you have to do the same thing with C1 and C3, that you just have to figure it out on your own. So yeah, I wasn't able to do a stop motion assembly in this session because it just wouldn't snap fit together. And this is the most that I can assemble without using any glue. Oh yeah, and also this expansion pack came out before the fur car. So I had to do quite a lot of modifications to fit that into the kit. So on top of the expansion pack, I'm also adding my own details onto the kit. So look forward to future videos of that. And in terms of the painting, I couldn't decide whether to use a sort of glossy pearl finish or a matte shaded finish. So I made a poll on YouTube and see what you guys would prefer. But it seems like you guys couldn't decide either. So my final solution is sort of putting two together. So sort of a matte pearl and shaded finish. Uh, I'll show more of that in the next part. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.